Hello, this is Dr. Kilgore from Dr. Kilgore's World with a math learning video all about input and output tables. So our learning goal in this video is I can use a rule or pattern to complete an input output chart. Go ahead and pause the video now and write that in your notes. We're going to start with a review of some vocabulary. Yes, you do need to write all of this vocabulary in your notes. So the first vocabulary word is equation. An equation is a number sentence that contains an equal sign. So like 5 plus 4 equals would be an equation. Our next vocabulary word is variable. A variable is a letter that represents an unknown number. In this we would write equations like 5 plus x equals 9 and our variable would be the x. Our next vocabulary word is input-output table. It is a table that represents the values of variables in an equation. Most oftentimes you see those variables being x and y. Okay, so make sure that you pause your, the video now. Get all of these vocabulary words, their definitions, and images or examples to go with them into your notes, and then come back and we'll practice with some input-output tables using some rules. Okay, so here is our first example. I've gone ahead and put an input output table here so that we can start looking at some equations with variables. So if we say that x plus 5 equals y, then with our input output table we would start listing some possible values of x. We could say 0, 1, 2, 5, 7. Okay, so we would plug this value in, our equation, in the x spot. So this would become 0 plus 5 equals y. Well, 0 plus 5 is 5. And then when we go to graph it, that would turn into our ordered pair. Our x value would come first, followed by our y value. So this coordinate would turn into over 0, up 5. So if we go ahead and plug 1 in for x, 1 plus 5 equals y. Well, 1 plus 5 is 6, and our ordered pair would be 1, 6. Again, we continue. We're going to plug 2 plus 5 equals y. Well, 2 plus 5 is 7, our ordered pair being 2 comma 7. If we plug 5 in for x, 5 plus 5 equals y. Well, 5 plus 5 is 10, so our ordered pair becomes 5, 10. The ordered pair is really important for when we start graphing these functions. It helps us see the possible values of these numbers. So we plug 7 in for x plus 5 equals y. Well, 7 plus 5 is 12. So our ordered pair would be 7 comma 12. Okay. I'll be right back with another example for us to do together, and then one for you on your own. Okay, let's go ahead and look at another example here. If we have two 
y equals x. Okay, remember that when there's no sign between a number and a variable, that always means to multiply. So let's go ahead and plug in some values of y. Let's go 0, 3, 6, 8, 10. Okay, so we go ahead and plug the y value in. 2 times 0 equals x. Well, 2 times 0 is 0. So our ordered pair becomes 0, 0. That is origin. So 2 again times the value for y, which is 3, equals x. 2 times 3 is 6. 6, comma, 3 becomes our ordered pair. 2 times 6 equals x. 2 times 6 is 12, so our ordered pair becomes 12, 6. 2 times 8 equals x. Well, 8 times 2 is 16, so our ordered pair becomes 16, 8. And 2 times 10 equals x. 2 times 10 is 20, so our ordered pair is 20, 10. Okay, I'll be right back with one for you to try on your own, and then we'll move to your practice. Okay, for this practice on your own, I want you to try y minus 5 equals x. Let's go ahead and give y the values of 7, 10, 12, 13, and 15. Okay, on your paper, go ahead and complete your x values and your ordered pair. So pause the video now and then come back and look at my work and see if we match. Okay, so let's start plugging in the values of y. 7 minus 5 equals x. That would make this 2, our ordered pair 2, 7. 10 minus 5 equals x, so x would be 5, ordered pair 5, 10. 12 minus 5 equals x. 12 minus 5 is 7, so our ordered pair is 7, 12. 13 minus 5 equals x. 13 minus 5 would be 8, so our ordered pair 8, 13. And then 15 minus 5 equals x. Our number is 10, and we get the ordered pair 10, 15. Okay, so I hope that this video has helped you see how to fill in XY charts following a pattern to um, go ahead and complete them and make ordered pairs. So go ahead and move on with your practice today and I will see you in the next video.